in the landslide susceptibility mapping series. Uh, today uh, is the part three and I'll be explaining how to calculate scores for each parameter classes and you can watch the two previous tutorials. First tutorial explained how to create landslide polygons and how to download the data. And the second one, we created the parameters like slope, aspect, etc. and then reclassified them. Now we will uh, import, first of all, import the landslide polygon we created in the first tutorial and then convert the landslide polygon to the raster and we do cross tabulation which means for each parameter classes we will find how many uh, what is the area of landslide and uh, we will calculate the score for each parameter classes and then sum the scores and uh, we will move to the next in our next tutorial. So first of all, uh, I have already explained how to create landslide data and in this uh, part I will tell you how to import the landslide data. So this is the uh, command so first of all, I will find where my data is. So this is the landslide data. And I will check this in the Google Earth. So we can see the, the, these tiny areas are landslides. So it is okay. And so this is the place where I have kept the KML file. So I am copying and pasting the commands and uh, the location of the folders etc. So this is and the name of file is like this. So I will copy and paste here and I will change this backslash to so output will be ls list so let us see Now we can check this, uh, whether it is uh, imported or not. We can see that these uh, landslide areas here, so it is very tiny in comparison to the total areas. Now uh, we will convert this to raster data, so we can just copy and paste uh, so the value will be used as the attribute so it will convert this ls list to ls rust and 
we can see so all the landslides are now converted to the raster data we can check here so this is the landslide area now we will calculate the stats for each uh, parameter parameters so this is the weightage uh, formula we are going to use and you have to check this website to understand the meaning so first of all let us uh, use this stats data uh, command so r dot stats and I have written uh, overwrite here so that uh, I, I can overwrite uh, if it is done previously otherwise we can delete it so let us copy this and then paste here So sep separator is comma and uh, where is the output we have to put the path and uh, we will use ls raster and reclassified slope and we will create slope cross dot csv so we will create one folder called stats so we will save all the cross tabulation data here and this way we uh, create the statistics so we can check that slope cross is created here and we can check here uh, with any text editor so this is the data we received and it is for uh, slope class 1 uh, this is the total area of landslide and this is also slope class 1 and total area where there is no landslide so for each classes we have this uh, data and the final one is the both are no data so this is the part outside this uh, mask so uh, in this way we create all the stats and in the next class we will create the score in the next tutorial based on these uh, cross tabulations so uh, this part we will uh, keep uh, for a while until we do, uh, go for next tutorial so f uh, i will create a stat for all the data so we can just click the up arrow and here we put aspect and output is aspect cross so these are the two things that we are going to change and so I will change this NDVI and change this NDVI and OK so in this way we create the stats for each uh, parameter parameters so uh, I will not 
continue in this video I will do it and you can also do it yourself for all the rasters.